Yeah, guys, so this is example one. We're going to be evaluating f of x equals negative 4x plus 7. And we're evaluating 4 when x is 2 and x is negative 2. You've seen this already. You've done this already. We did it when we called these our domains. And you had to find your range. That was in 3, 1, and 3, 2. Now we're just going to do it and write it in functional notation form. So this is our x. Remember, that is always our x. And we're substituting these in. For different things so f is a function of x and the relationship is negative 4 times x plus 7. what that means is this will be my output when i put that in for whatever x it's my input i take that number times negative 4 plus 7. these are our two specific examples we want to see so for the first part we're going to do f of 2. notice i substituted 2 in for x here so I substituted in over here, negative 4 times 2 plus 7. This is me finding f of 2. So the whole thing is the output is equal to negative 4 times the input plus 7. Now we're saying the, the functional value of plugging in 2 is negative 4 times 2 plus 7. And now we just do our math and figure it out. So f of 2 would equal negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8, plus 7. f of 2 would equal negative 1. You're used to writing this as a point or as a table, negative 2 comma negative 1. But now we're going to write it in functional notation, which means the functional value of plugging in 2 is negative 1. Or else the relationship is if I plug in 2, my input is 2, my output is negative 1. And I know some people are going to say, well, why do we have to write it this way? Later on in mathematics, this will help you, and this will be, it's a lot more um, direct. This translates directly. The functional value of 2 is negative 1. You see how that reads correctly from left to right? Now we're going to do the same thing with negative 2. So now all I have to do, instead of plugging in 2 for x, I'm going to plug in negative 2 for x. In other words, I'm going to see what happens when I put in a different input. So now it's f of negative 2 equals negative 4 times negative 2 plus 7. So again, all I did was find for a specific input. f of negative 2 would equal negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 plus 7. So f of negative 2 equals 15. So now we're starting to get used to working with functional notation. It's the same thing as y, but it just reads out different. Instead of writing our stuff in an ordered pair, we're going to write it in a functional notation. So here we plugged in 2, we had to substitute it in for x everywhere, and we found the functional value if we plug in 2 is negative 1. Then over here, the functional value if we plug in negative 2 is 15. So make sure when you read the problem, you know exactly what you're doing. Evaluate means find the value. So you know you're always going to find a number. That's the root word, value. This is our original connection. We plug in x, we get out f of x. These are the specific values we want to know. So we want to know two specific instances. When x is 2, what is f of x? When x is negative 2, what is f of x? f of 2 is negative 1, f of negative 2 is 15. And I hope you're seeing that I'm trying to connect the words, like is means equals here, of for the parentheses. All right, that is example 1. Go ahead and try your monitoring progress, see if you understand it, and then ask me any questions you have in class. Thank you.